Hey, good morning, people. Good morning. Hey, um, I just want to let you know that no matter what you're going through, just know that God is there all the time. Listen, I don't know why, just in my spirit, God was dealing with me just now. And you know what I thought about? I said, you know, when you just look back over your life just a little bit, and you see where the Lord has brought you from. Amen. All you can do is just rejoice and be glad. And know that God was there all the time. It reminded me of a story. Let me tell you something. When, when chaos and when bad things are going on in your life, all it's really designed to do is to keep you moving, to keep you alert, to keep you moving. Cause I'm gonna tell you something, when everything is calm and ain't nothing happen, we have it in us as human beings to settle. We'll just stay in the same spot. We'll just, we'll become content with where we are if everything was calm all the time. But sometimes God got to allow bad things to come up in your life to keep you moving, to keep you functioning and alert, to keep pressing forward. Watch this. I was reminded of a story in the Bible. When Jesus was asleep on the ship with the disciples, there a storm came up on the sea, right? But Jesus was in the bottom sleep. And you ever notice, you know, in the midst of that storm, they was panicking. They didn't know what to do. They wasn't just sitting around doing nothing. They thought to themselves, listen, we got to go wake Jesus up and let him know what's going on. See, God was there all the time. <coughs> Bless you. But watch this. There's two ways to look at this story. Okay. When they went down to wake Jesus and they said, Master, we perish. In other words, they was basically saying, look, the storm is bad out there, man. We're going to die if you don't do something. And he said to them, oh, just have a little faith. And he woke up and spoke to the storm, and immediately everything came calm, came to a cease. That's one way to look at it. You gotta have faith in God. That's one way to look at it. Number two is this. When things are going on wrong in your life, call on God. You know what I'm saying? Even if he is there, Call on him anyway. And God going to speak to the storm and the situation that's going on in your life. And it's going to come to an ease. Just like it did in the Bible. See, another thing. Peter, when he saw Jesus walking on water, he saw him out there on the sea. Peter said, Lord, if it's you, let me come to you. God said, come. And as long as Peter kept his eyes on God, he was doing something that was impossible. He was walking on water. He was walking on the sea because he was focused on God. After he got out there so far, he started looking around at everything that was going on. And he began to sink. And he called on God. And God grabbed him. You see, what I'm trying to say is, you can do things that are impossible to man as long as you keep your eyes on God. But when you get beside yourself, you'll start looking at everything that's going on and you'll, be, you'll forget about God. And that's one thing that would allow you to sink. When you start 
looking around, getting beside yourself, and you forget that God brought you, that God is the reason you are where you are. Never forget that. But I want you to know on the day, if you just look back over your life through the storm and the rain, you'll know that God brought you. God was there the whole time. And listen, sometimes it might not seem like he was. I had to testify to myself and thank God. Some of the situations that I was in in the past, when I look back at that now, I understand now why God did it. I understand now why he did it the way that he did. I didn't understand then. I was hurting. I was lost. And I was trying to figure out what should I do. But God was there the whole time. It was the whole time. It was a part of his process. Listen, I don't know who I'm talking to today. But you might be dealing with some stuff and you might feel lost. You might not understand why it's happening the way that it is. But everything that is happening in your life is designed to make you and mold you into what God got for you in the future. And it's coming. You got to trust in the Lord and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Listen, if you got something that's going on in your life that you don't understand, that means you at a good point with God. Because as long as you understand everything, and as long as you know why it's happening, that's your way. But when it's God's way, you ain't supposed to know, and you ain't supposed to understand why it's happening. You just supposed to trust God to do it for you. But I want you to know today, he's there all the time. And whatever you're going through, it's a purpose behind it. God want to do something in your life, but it's going to require you to go through certain things to get it. And I want you to know that, to be encouraged, and know that God is there. And he's there all the time. He said in his word, he with you always. Lo. He's always with you. Even at your lowest point. God is there. And whatever going on in your life. Don't be afraid to call on God. Because he'll answer you. He said before you call he'll answer. But listen. Call on him even if you feel like he knows. You know what I'm saying? Call on God anyway. Because he there. He waiting on you. So I want, I hope this message bless somebody. But it blessed me. So be encouraged. Share if you like this video. God bless you.